What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping back onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are rocking out with a Ho-Oh team that also features Defiant Zapdos and Storm Drain Gastron. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. Everybody who's subscribed to the channel, everybody who likes other videos, or just anybody who tunes in and watches these videos. It really does go a long way. But yeah, today we're rocking out with Ho-Oh, and this Pokemon never gets any loving on the rank double ladder for a restricted mod, considering there is a lot of Pokemon that are better than him, but he's still tons of fun to use, and hopefully we get to showcase him to his fullest potential today. But before I get into the team preview, I want to let you guys know that Series 11 is right around the corner, and if you want to make me teams for Series 11, make sure you DM me over on Instagram, or if you already have rental codes for Series 11, just send them over in the DMs right away. You don't even have to ask me anything, just send them, and I try to get back to every single person's DM as soon as possible. There's a link down in the description below if you need my Instagram, and my name It's legit. Right below my face cam. Go check it out. Hit that follow button over there and send me your DMs. But uh, getting started with this team, we have Ho-Oh over here, top left corner with the regenerator ability. So every time we swap out, we get some HP and then we have that rocky helmet item to do damage on physical attackers that hit us. Considering this Pokemon is super, super bulky, I think rocky helmet is perfect. Same thing with the regenerator ability. So cannot wait to use that with him. We got Sacred Fire and Brave Bird both for our stat moves. Then we have Recover to boost our HP and Protect as our final move. Right next to him is going to be Gastron, and I feel like Gastron's only going to be coming out in certain situations, preferably when they have a Kai Ogre King, because this Pokemon is one of the only ways to stop a Kai Ogre King, and it is wonderful at doing that due to its ability, Storm Drain. We also have the Leftovers as its item, and then we have Earth Power and Ice Beam for our moves, with Recover and Protect as our final two support moves. Middle left is going to be that Defiance after to counter up on Intimidate Pokemon. It has the Citrus Berry for its item, so when it jumps below half, get some HP back, and then it has Thunder Kick, Brave Bird, both for stab, detect as our protect, and quick guard to protect our Pokemon from first turn priority moves. Absolutely love that uh, protect move, quick guard. And I think it's going to work really, really well in this series and in this uh, meta as of right now, because you got Pokemon such as like Incineroar, who's rocking Fake Out. Then you also have Pokemon like Rillaboom, who has Grassy Glide, and there is the Water Urge who comes in every once in a while with that Aqua Jet. So hopefully we get to show off quick guard and show off its move set and uh, how good it actually is. Right next to him is going to be Amoogus, which is a great support mod for any single team. We got Regenerator ability on him as well, with the Mental Herb, Rage Powder, Sludge Bomb, Sport, and Protect, a fairly normal moveset for an Amoogus. Bottom left corner, Incineroar. We're done with him. We're not talking about him. You guys already know plenty about that Pokemon. He's used on every single team, and I mean every single team. He's just too good right now. He's just super strong, great at controlling the battle, great at getting special attack drops and uh, physical attack drops, and then, then he can do big damage on the side and get flinches with a fake out. Just too good. He's just too good. Bottom right corner is the final Pokemon on the team, and that is going to be Nihilego. And this Pokemon is a hard hitter on our team. We have the Beast Boost ability, the Power Herb, so Meteor Beam can go in one turn. Then we also have Power Gem for Stab, Sludge Bomb for Stab, and Protect for our final move. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and look to get some wins with this Ho-Oh Series 10 team. We got a tough one in front of us. We're hopping into our first battle, going up against a very heavy meta Zacian team here. He also has the Thunderous, or not the Thunderous, the Landorus, I should say. And then he has the Rillaboom, the Regilecki for speed control, and it can hit hard alongside the Tapu Fini and the Intimidate Incineroar. So this team is actually, like like I said, pretty meta. A lot of people do use this team. It's probably one of the top uh, Zacian teams, but I think we can win this one. Let me let me think of how I should go into this one. I think I definitely want to bring the Lego. He could definitely be very, very strong here. Nice little special attacker. Uh, Ho-Oh might be an absolute must. Ho-Oh is just a beast and he's great all around. He does have that Landorus, which I'm kind of scared of. And he could be holding the life for me. Trying to think. What should Jeans do here? What should Jeans do here? He does have a fake out with a Rillaboom and the Incineroar. I could go in with my Incineroar. I mean, he doesn't have any Defiant. I do definitely want to bring in Incineroar. He could be really, really good. I'm kind of just thinking of leading Ho-Oh maybe alongside with Moongus. You get a starter here. And then go in now. Oh, what? Lead Nihilego. He's just super, super good. Let's go Nihilego for lead. Let's go Amoongus and Nihilego and then Ho-Oh. I'm thinking Incineroar. Do we really need Amoongus? I don't think we need Amoongus here. I think going in with this squad, having the Ho-Oh and uh, Nihilego as a lead could be very, very good for us. So let's rock it. Let's get after it. Let's try to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But guys, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. If you guys could create any ability in the Pokemon game, just add it into the game. What would it be and what would it do? 
Let me know in the comment section down below. You guys probably have some creative ideas, and I would love to get you guys feedback on this one. I couldn't really think of anything, but, th but there's a lot of ideas. Like, obviously, you could go in with, like, an Intimidate that drops special attack. That could definitely be very, very good. But, like, they don't have that, and I, don't, I never understood why. I never understood why. Like, there's Intimidate drops physical attack, but why not one that drops special attack? I guess because Snarl's a thing. Right? But then there's moves like Brutal Swing, which, uh, no, or not Brutal Swing, uh, what's that dragon move called? I totally forget, but it hits everybody and it drops attack. I totally forget. But, uh, we could just rock into a Meteor Beam if we want, but I think I'm just double protecting here. I think I'm just dropping a nice little double protect here. I can definitely see a fake out coming out here alongside with maybe, like, an E-Web. So let me double protect up here. I could drop my Meteor Beam next turn and pretty much just dump on Incineroar. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. He's gonna go for the fake out. We all block it. So it was up against the Lego, and then I'm guessing maybe a bolt switch. Nope, E Web was the call. E Web was the call. Okay, so Meteor Beam could definitely fly here. I'm gonna see like what other Pokemon he does have rocking out on this team. I mean, if he swaps, the only Pokemon I can see him swapping into would be maybe like the. Be maybe the. I really don't want to send my uh, Meteor Beam just yet. He might swap. He might swap. So I might double down into him on a Brave Bird. Or I could just deal some damage over onto this other slot. Could be my play. Could be my play. Yeah, let's let's go over here. He might swap. That's why I don't want to draw my Meteor Beam. I'm gonna protect Vegalucky. Okay. I'm going to protect Vegalucky. So we could just dump on the center easily here. Power Jump's gonna fly. We probably should just send our Meteor Beam to win the play. Could have just taken that thing out in one shot. But it's all good. It is all good. This thing got a parting shot. We can definitely see it happening. He's going to Snarl. You son of a bitch. Okay, so he drops a Snarl here. Um. Hmm. Do I Meteor Beam now? I don't think I Meteor Beam. I think I kind of just saved this guy right here. Because again, I could see an E-Web dropping. But I just think I Power Gem. Would Power Gem finish you off? Power Gem might not finish you off. I said we just get rid of Vincent over here. Could swap again. I don't know. I don't know. Do we deal damage over on the Reggie? What's the call? What is the call here? Yeah, let's deal damage onto the Reggie. I don't think Power Gem is going to KO here. Oh, he does withdraw. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. He's going to send out whatever this Pokemon is. It's in a different language. And it's going to be really. It's going to be really big here. So, easy protect for me next turn. And we might be able to just uh, get rid of this uh, Regilecki, depending on how much damage he actually does over on the my ho -Oh here. So, e is flying. We know it's super effective. And Ho-Oh is eaten. He is eaten. There's a speed drop on both of us. And ch -ch -ch, how do I play this one? Power Gem flying out here. Doing some damage over onto you. Just slowly chipping up there. And here comes my Sacred Fire. Sacred Fire flying. Do you want to grade that amount of damage? Give me a burn. No, no burn. No burn! What you mean? Okay, so this thing can go for the Grass Guide. I can do a hard swap here. Hmm, I could double protect as well. Double protect could be the call. But I'm thinking of just hard swapping. Just so I get that minus one onto that, uh, Rillaboom. Actually, I should hard swap next turn. I'm thinking of just protecting the Nehalego here. I'm thinking of just uh, protecting the Nehalego and then just dropping a nice, lovely Sacred Fire over onto the Regilecki. Because I think this thing is going to go for a Grand Scott into my Nehalego slot. We should be fine here. I think we should be fine. I think we're going to see a potential another E Web play. That's it. Bull Switch. This thing is Bull Switch. You son of a biscuit. And, and we get a free Sash! We get a free Sash, baby! Loving it. Loving it. So that thing is not going into a, uh, a grass guide. I wonder what he's hitting me with. He's going to send out you. And maybe we can get a burn on this thing. But let's see what, uh, let's see what Rillaboom's going to go for first of all. Let's see what Rillaboom's going to go for. He's going to go for a wood hammer and we block it. Okay, cool. So we get off the big block. Um, I wonder if he has speed. I wonder if he has speed though. Nice little damage onto him. We're chipping away, and everyone's going to get some HP back. Okay, so we have a free Focus Ash. It is our turn to swap. It's a must-swap, right? It's a must-swap. It, it might be a Protect turn for uh, ho -Oh. we definitely, Or we can just swap the... Uh, we could do a double swap. Hmm. What's my play here? We kind of want to swap the ho -Oh just for the Regenerator, right? And to get our stats back. But I think I swap Nihilego into this slot right here. And then we go protect this turn. 
I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of just protecting this turn and then just swapping next turn. So we'll get this Intimidate off, get minus one on both these physical attackers. Yeah, solid first battle so far. Solid first battle. Everyone's getting some chip damage away from them. We did get a little lucky with the free focus, Ash. I'll give it to myself here. And we're going to protect. Our bird's protecting. Our one HP bird. I really didn't want to swap out just over generator here, Proc. He's going to go for the fake out. He's going to chip away onto Incineroar. And I wonder what he's going for. Grass guy's coming in here. And we block it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So now we have fake out ready to roll. Um, I could. Mm. I could. Who do I? He's probably going for a snarl, right? I mean, we are minus one speed. I, we have to swap him. We have to swap him. So now would be the turn to just drop a nice little fake out. Onto, I guess, Incineroar? I mean, it depends who we're swapping it. Actually, I hope he goes for a strong. We're going to fake out the Robum, actually. Actually, Robum's really not posing a threat. Yeah, Robum's really not posing a threat here. But I think I might just fake out onto the... Uh, onto you. Actually, no, no, no. We have to, we have to fake out onto the Robum. I want this thing to go for a snarl here. I want this thing to go for a snarl. We're gonna fake out here and then do a hard swap into my bird. Yes. Because if he goes for a snarl, that would be lovely. That would be lovely. Because then we get the Defiant proc and we kind of roll off from there. So get my Ho-O -Oh back out. And then we get able to drop a fake out here. Clapping up onto the real boom. And he's gonna go for a what? Maybe party shot? The snarl. There it is. Oh yo, beautiful call. Beautiful call by Jeans, baby. We'd love to see it. We'd love to see it. Now the bird is a threat. Now the bird's sitting here as a big threat. Now we pardon shot out. We need to send him work for another turn later. And we get ripping with this dude. We get ripping with the bird. Okay. So we know he has the Incineroar. We know he has Real Boom. I'm guessing Zacian's his fourth and final mon. And then his third Pokemon was the, uh, I can't even think of it. Who's it? Who is it? I know it should be lit up here. It's the Red Okay. I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. So from this point, I could just go straight into a Flare Blitz. Or I could party shot. But I am going to go for a Flare Blitz, and I think I just go for a Thunder's Kick here. Because if he swaps into anything other than this uh, Real Boom, we should be fine. Or other than uh, the Zacian. I mean, anything he swapped into was really getting a hard hit from the Thunder's Kick. That's beautiful. The Defiant coming out here, and we're playing really, really good as of right now. He's going to go for a U-turn. He's going to pivot out here. Hit up on you, and whoever he swaps in here is taking a nice, lovely Flare Blitz. A nice, lovely Flare Blitz. And depending on who he goes into, which it could be Zacian. It really could be Zacian. I think it could be Zacian. It's going to be Regilacki here. And this thing's going to go down here. So it's going to force out his other Pokemon. The Flare Blitz flying through here. He's going to be able to have Fake Out ready to go. And in that case, I might just Quick Guard and take out hit one of his Pokemon. Hmm. What does Jeans do here? What does Jeans do here? Because we know he has Fake Out ready to go once again with the Real Boom. So he's probably going to go for a Fake Out turn here. And I'm probably going to Quick Guard it down. And then maybe do I take out the Real Boom or do I target down onto the, uh, the Zassian? Hmm. I think I'm going to Quick Guard and Parting Shot. I think it's going to be my play. Have this uh, Zapdos just pose that threat. And if I can just start minusing attack here, it could be lovely. It could be lovely. It could be a real lovely thing. So let's go for the parting shot here over on the Zacian and then go into a quick guard. Or I could detect. What's it called? Detecting here? Let's detect. Let's attack. I'm not, I'm not going to go for the quick guard. Even though I know the fake out's coming in here. But I believe that the fake out is coming up to my bird. That's why I do this. Yes. Yo, beautiful call. No need to quick guard. Protect my boy all the way around here. And he's going to take a sword. That's rough. That is rough, though. That's rough. Okay. So he takes out my Incineroar. And I thought we, we kind of needed that Incineroar. Incineroar's just a beast. But we have to pose a threat onto this, uh, onto this guy right here. So I'm going to bring out the Ho-Oh. And I could double down into the Zacian, which I might do this turn. I might do this turn. Mm. Tough news, dude. Tough news. This is real tough. Let's go for the Sacred Fire over in the Zacian. And then drop a... Go for the Thunder's Kick. I think I have to hit up on this thing, right? It's a must to get it for this thing. And I think Zacian might clutch up for us. Or for him. 
That's tough, dude. We played this one so well. We played this one so well. Come on, man. We know he is rocking the... Uh... Oh, no! What you mean? Oh, God. And I was thinking about recovering on that turn. Let's see what this thing's trying to fly through here with. Oh, what a protect. What a protect. I'm gonna go for the wood hammer. Can he eat this? He should be able to eat this. Easy eats, baby. So, that poses yet another threat. And he's gonna take recoil damage onto that. And uh, alongside with it, he is going to take the rock hammer damage. So, I could swap again if I really want to. I could swap if I want to. But, again, we're just gonna double down on this Pokemon. I could Brave Bird and take you out and just make it a 2v1. That might be my play. But I could detect. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I'm going to just double protecting here. I don't know. I think I'm going to go Sacred Fire. Let's try to Sacred Fire you, and I, I'm going to go for the Brave Bird into into you. Because I think a Thunder's Kick might not even be able to take out Zassian. Zassian is going to sub up, and I'm kind of with that turn. I'm kind of with that turn, because Bird will go first. And Bird will be able to take out Roboom, and then the Sacred Fire will be able to take out that uh, substitute. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, yo. Big old damage. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Sacred Fire's gonna be able to fly. I might do a hard swap just to get more HP back, but I don't know. Now we pose a nice, lovely threat here. We, po we pose a nice threat here. That's the best part. That's the best part about going up against this Assassin 101. They did not give him a double hitting move, so it doesn't make him absolutely broken. Once it's a 2v1, you can kind of control the battle here. We have Ho-Oh chilling here, and I'm out of Sacred Fires, man. I'm going to go for a recover. And I could detect here, but I'm just going to Thunder's Kick. I could, but I'm going to go for the Thunder's Kick. But I think he, he's going to go after my Ho-Oh, right? Let's see what he does here. Go ahead, go, go after my Ho-Oh. He does. That's fine. The good thing I did Thunder's Kick, I was going to protect. But then I was just like, okay, Ho-Oh is posing that threat with the Sacred Fire. But little did he know. Little did he know that I do not actually have any Sacred Fires left. <laughs> Thunder's Kick comes through here. Can this pick up the KO? We are plus two with the Defiant Boost. And it does, yo. Dude, what a play by me. Getting that Zapdos in at the perfect time. Reading the Snarl, getting that Defiant Boost, and just running the battle from there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Grabbing ourselves a huge win in battle number one when we went up against a heavy meta Zaskin team. But hey, we're looking to go back to back here, going up against yet another Zaskin team. But this one's not heavy meta. As a little, it's a little different than most. It has the Whimsicott alongside with the Volcarona, the Lanners, and it has Tapu Fini and Galarian Mold. Okay. Um, he does have the Tailwind, so we might try to set up with that, which we, we might allow it. We might allow it. But we definitely want to bring in, uh, does have any Intimidate? That's our problem. Doesn't have any intimidate, so I, I don't think Galarian Zapdos could really be too good here because it really thrives off of the, that scaling from the Defiant. Um, now Lego could be a solid lead up against a lot of these Pokemon, so I think we are going to lead him with the Incineroar, bring Ho Oh in that back end, and then I'm thinking Amoongus could be chilling here. I'm thinking Amoongus could be great here. Put a lot of Pokemon to sleep, kind of get going from there. I do like it, I do like it a lot, so. Let's run it. Let's do it. Let's do him dirty. He has no fake out. He has no terrain control. He has no weather. And he has no stat defense. He just has tailwind. That's his thing. He's, he, he seems based off of that tailwind. Getting that speed control and going from there. And hopefully we can kind of just like get after him in the beginning early and get on top of this battle. But yo, that first battle was so good. I thought he was going to clean up with that Zacian. But then he ended up, uh, what did he do? Did he protect? I think he protected with the Zacian. Or, or no, he went for a sub suit with Zacian. And we Brave Bird over into the room and finished that thing off. And made it down to a 3v1 situation. But he ends up leading these guys right here. And I think a Meteor Beam should start play call here. Right? A nice big attack drop on special attackers here. And who do I take out? Who do I absolutely just stump on with this Meteor Beam? So one, this thing could Quiver Dance. That could be a problem. But no, we're just going to take that thing out. We're going to take that thing out, and I'm just going to fake out over onto the Slanders. That's our play here. So he's going to end up withdrawing the Volcarona. Okay, that's cool. Should have went after the Lando. Should have went after the Lando. He's going to swap to the Finny, which I don't mind too much. I don't mind that too much. We do have Sludge Bomb Rock when they hit Lego, and we will be able to outspeed with a plus one from our Meteor Beam, which is great. Fake out's going to fly through here. Mwah. Give it a nice, lovely little flinchies. Get flinched, baby. Meteor Beam's going to fly. Give me that plus one. Give me that plus one. And then I think after this, we can just sludge bomb and pretty much finish off. Uh, finish off this Tapu Fini. But now I do want to try to get off a parting shot here. I really do want to try a parting shot. There's this. 
bang, chipping away on that. Again, Sludge Bomb can just fly through here and do a lot of damage. And this thing is going to have leftovers, which is totally fine. So I could read a Protect. I am thinking of reading a Protect here. The Sludge Bomb could totally be to play. But I'm thinking of just reading a Protect and going into maybe a Power Gem. We're into him. We can go for a Sludge Bomb, but Sludge Bomb is not very effective. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to read the Protect. I am going to uh, Parting Shot here. Or I could Snarl. I think that, that actually might be my play here. Protect and then just Snarl. Because these are both special attackers, so getting off Snarl could be big. But I do think Tapu finished protecting. I really do think that's happening. Let's see it. Let's see it. Nope, Earth Power is flying through here. I knew he was going to uh, tackle probably my Nihiligo with that, but I was expecting the Tapu Finney to protect. So we're just going to go for Nature's Madness, which I'm cool with. I'm cool with that. Snarl's going to be able to fly through here. And who dodged it? Who dodged it? Hit the Lando at least. Okay, cool. Hits the Lando. That's, that's, that's more so who I want to hit it. So, we're able to hit the Lando with that. This thing is going to be able to get leftovers. I'm going to Sludge Bomb it now and finish that thing off. I am going to Sludge Bomb it now. Sludge Bomb, finish you off, and then I think I'm just going to Parting Shot out of here. Just to would love you to the Parting Shot. Dip back, because I really do want this to Intimidate for, uh, for when Zassian comes out onto the field. So that's our play. That is our play. Hopefully, the What's Called doesn't protect this turn. The top of Finny. I could have just dumped on it last turn, but I think we should be fine. Earth Power's gonna fly through here. He has minus one. And that still takes me out, bro. That still takes me out. Come on, man. Come on, man. Skull's gonna fly through here. That's gonna take me out as well. Oh, it does not. Okay. Okay, I'm cool with that. Because we do have our lovely little berry coming out here. Our lovely little berry. Give me that. Nice little figgy. And then Parting Shot's going to fly. Dude, that's rough. That is rough. I really need my Nihilego for one more turn there. I really needed him for one more turn there. But we're going to be able to Parting Shot. We're going to get two of our last three Pokemon out of here. It's going to be Ho-Oh and Amoogus. I don't know, dude. This one's looking tough. This one is looking tough. But we might be able to have a Spore Fest here and get after the battle this way. So let's see how this one's going to play out again. Let's see it. Well, I could go back in with Incineroar, can't I? I might do that. Hmm. Is that what Jeans wants to do here? Is that what Jeans wants to do here? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And then let's tackle onto this uh, top of here. Because again, I'm not too worried about this, uh... This, what's it called? Not too worried about this, uh, Lando here. Let's go into here. Let's go into our fake out, obviously, onto Top of Finny, and then double down into him. Because that Landers is minus two, he does have Sheer Force, so that's why he does hit so hard. It is tough. It is tough. But I'm thinking maybe we can eat up an Earth Power from him. I wonder what he's going to go into. Hopefully, he protects and we get a free chance onto this Top of Finny, and then I can just hard swap. But he, oh, he's going to withdraw. I like that. I like that a lot. Moltres is going to come out here. The Moltres is going to fly out here, and Fake Out is going to come here, and we should be able to pick up... I don't know, dude. It's going to be close. Brave Bird, can you do it? Can you do him dirty, Brave Bird? Can you do him dirty? Take him out. Ah! 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 I don't like that! I don't like that one bit! Not one bit! Not one bit do I like that! Ah! Free Sash? Bruh! Get out of my face. Get out of my face. We, we don't like that. We don't like that. Come on, man. Sacred Fire is going to fly through here. So I can deal some good damage. Give me a burn. We did not bring him below half, which is great. And we do get the burn. And Fire Bass is going to fly through here. I think both my Pokemon should be able to eat that, right? It's Tasty Snacks all day. Snarl should be able to come out here. And we know we outspeed. Ooh, Skull comes out beforehand. That's that's killing us, right? Does not. Yes, sir. We living on red today. We living on red today. Give me the KO with the Snarl here. E, they're living on red as well. Dang, man. We got a crit on Moltres. We're going to get the drop. And then he is going to get the uh, Defiant boost. Okay. So, play might be to just... uh, Might just be to swap into the Amoogus here. And keep my Incineroar for the fake out in the back end. That'd be great. That'd be great. We're chipping away with burns here. <laughs> oh, man. Free focus ashes left and right. Alright. uh, Incineroar, get back here, baby. We're going to need you for later. We're going to need you for later. We need our Ho-Oh just clutching up here and doing a lot of work. We're going to another Sacred Fire. 
Because we know he's going to scald here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into a sacred fire here. I'm going to drop back or into an aura. He's got to be going for a fire wrath or something. And Amoongus is going to fly. Amoongus! Yes, sir. Sacred fire is going to fly here. Can we get the KO or at least bring that thing down enough? We do get the KO. Okay, cool. Awesome. Get the thing out of my game. We don't need him here. We don't want him here. Nature's man is flying through here. That's rough. We going after that's gotta be Ho, -Oh, yeah. He goes after Ho, -Oh, it's gonna bring us down to half our HP. And at this point I could recover. And and rage powder, or I could protect in spore. Because the terrain is gone, and that's huge for us. And he's gonna throw out Volcarona. Volcarona. Okay, so Volcarona is here out about. Uh like I said, I could spore. I'm thinking I just rage powder him. Getting some HP back. Let's do it. Let's Rage Powder, get some HP back, and roll off from here. Hopefully he doesn't Quiver Dance. Mm, I'm trying to think of what he, what he, what's, I'm trying to think of what this Pokemon's gonna do. I'm gonna withdraw the Finny here. And we are gonna get off a nice level wheel recover here. I'm gonna go back out and land her. So he does not have Zassian. He does not have Zassian. I think going for a Bug Buzz, maybe. Eat one. He wave dropping. The Rage Powder really didn't do anything. I could have just spoiled that turn. Cover coming out here. Get some HP back. Okay. Aye, aye. We chillin', we chillin'. Give me all that HP back. All of it. I want all of it back. I uh, could go for a spore, but again, I think uh Yeah, let's go for a spore here. Let's just go for a protect. Because I think he's gonna go for a heat wave and double down into my ho. -ho. Right? If I can get off this spore, he'll be sitting good here. Psychic coming through here. Oh no, he's doubling. Mm. We eat. Do not go for that. He goes for a heat wave. Dodge it, Amoongus. Dodge it, Amoongus. God dang it, man. That's GG's. That's G's. Our last chance, and he doesn't go after Ho. -Oh. He reads the protect. That's tough news. That's tough news. Okay. We still have Incineroar, and Ho of -Oh those hit pretty hard. Let's see what we can make happen. Let's see what we can make happen. So we know we have to fake out the land now, right? We know we have to fake out the land. The question is, do I get after the land? Or do I just brave? I'm just going to brave bird into this thing. I'm going to hit this thing with a brave bird. Let's see what we can get whipping up here. I'm going to withdraw the land. You son of a biscuit. I'm going to go into the finny here. You son of a biscuit. Dude, this, one, this one actually came down really, really close. If he'd let me get off that spore, if he'd not double down into my Amoongus, we would've been thriving. They got the device through here. You're not going to be able to pick up the KO onto that, and then Heat Wave is going to fly. He'll snap on Incineroar, and I think we could pick up this KO onto this, uh... Onto this, what's it called? Onto this walk around here. Let's see. Sir. A big recoil damage coming in hot. Which we don't like one bit. We don't like one bit. There's a recoil damage. I would love the recovery. I would absolutely love the recovery here. If I could, but it's just like, dude, Scald's gonna come in hot. Scald is gonna come in hot. Uh, he has Earth Power, which can't hit me. He's probably rocking Sludge Bomb. What else do I think he's rocking? Protect and... Mm, maybe a Rock Slide? Maybe? I don't know, but dude, if I can clutch this up with Ho, oh, that'd be so nasty. <laughs> I just don't see it happening. Uh, let me protect and just see what he's what what he's thinking of doing. Let me just see what he's thinking of doing, because I don't see him protecting. I see him just doubling down trying to get after me. If I can kind of get a little read of what he's trying to do, that could be good. But this one, it ain't looking good. It ain't looking good. We need him to start missing attacks, something along those lines. This dude's thinking. He's like, yo, this bird's bulky. I don't know what to do. <laughs> we definitely, he definitely wants to get off a of Scald with that, uh, with that top of Finny. That's definitely his play. But ho -Oh might be able to outspeed that. Psychic. Oh, that's his final move. We, we saw him come through. He does have Psychic. And this thing is going for Scald. So, yeah. He's doubling in on me. Play here would probably be go after a top of Finny, right? With a Brave Bird. Finish that thing off. And then maybe try to eat off some Lando shots. But it ain't looking good. It ain't looking good. Let's see. The Brave Bird's gonna fly. Come on, Pokey Gods. Come on, Pokey Gods. 
Psychic's gonna fly through here. Might be able to eat that up, but it is sheer force. What do we eat? Can we outspeed here? We do outspeed. So you're saying there's a chance. If we take you out, we survive our recoil damage. Right? We survive our recoil damage, I believe. And we need this Pokemon to miss. If he misses and a Sacred Fire kills, the Poke Gods are on our side. <laughs> this is such a good battle, man. Yo, we're having some awesome battles. Um, like I said, we gotta go for this. Come on, miss this Psychic. Miss it. Psychic so comes through. No! <laughs> Dang it, man. Yo, what a battle. Seriously, what a battle. We definitely would have had that one if he didn't double down to my Amoongus. But, like, who doubles down to Amoongus? That's crazy. We're sitting at 101. Let's go grab ourselves that winning wreck. This ID says the name Patrick Star. Yep. And your name is Patrick Star. Yep. And I found this ID in this wallet. Yep. So that must mean this is your wallet. Makes sense to me. Then take it. But that's not my wallet. <laughs> if you guys ever see that SpongeBob quote, you guys are probably laughing right now. Yo, I absolutely love it. It's been stuck in my head all day. Just want to say it for you guys. It's all good though. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Looking for a winning record here. Going up against a Shadow Rider, Calyrex team, alongside Wimscott, Reggie Draco, Dragapult, Nihilego, and Incineroar. Hopefully that guy's made you laugh. You guys are probably like, yo, what is Jeans talking about here? But just make a nice little SpongeBob quote. So funny. It is so funny. But uh, how should I play this one? How should I go into this? I might actually lead the Zapdos here. Alongside with Incineroar. Mm, he could. He could indeed go Shadow Rider Calyrex into a Tailwind. Which could definitely be scary. It could be tough. And I'm trying to think of how I can counter that. And I should definitely go into the lead. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. Could go in. I can't pick it out. I think we definitely need Incineroar as a lead though. Hmm. Hmm. Wish we did have like Wide Guard. Wish we indeed had wide guard. I gotta pick my team here. Jeans just gotta pick his team. Let's rock out with these guys. No water Pokemon. We went up against no Kyogre team today. That's a little weird, right? It's a little whack. Considering we always see Kyogre teams. And the time that we have Storm Jay Gastron, we do not. We do not see a Kyogre team. But hey, time to get ourselves a win. Let's give a little battle screech going. <laughs> What's that? There's another SpongeBob episode. He's like, battle screech. <laughs> I think it's funny, like, he's going after Jellyfish in a certain episode. But he ends up leading these two guys, which I'm cool with. I could fake out and go for Brave Bird. Dragon move can come in here hot, which I think I'd rather let him get off a uh, Protect. Or not a Protect, a Tailwind. Over the, what's it called? Over the Dragon's Maul, because Dragon Maul is definitely scary. But we can't really do much here. I said we, I said we just go into this. I said we fake out and we hit up onto the Reggie Drago. Let's see what he does. Could be protected, but I can definitely see him being Choice Scarf. Right? We could for show see him being Choice Scarf. Let's see his shoes play. Hopefully he protects Whimsy. I would love it. I would love it. Make a move, my dude. He's got Cotton Ball and Ball with Charizard head detached on each side of its head. <laughs> like, look at that. It's definitely Charizard. He protects. No! What you mean? Protect the Whimsicott. Dang it, dude! <laughs> Next to Draco, and he gets up. I like you. Oh, art. But that's not my wallet. But that is not my wallet. We could be going into a dragon move. I can, um, I can definitely see him going into that dragon move. But let's flare, but let's, let's brave bird. Actually, I could. I could indeed. I could indeed do this. I could indeed do this, and that's indeed doobly what I'm gonna do here. Let's protect. Let's rip it. Let's do it. He's gonna withdraw the Reggie Drago. Okay, I'm with that turn. He's gonna go and do Go Shadow Rider. Okay, Dragapult. Okay. Alright, Dragapult coming out here. We're gonna protect this thing, and I can see a Tailwind setting up. Alright, is this thing rocking Tailwind? Yep. A layer's the Tailwind. I'm surprised he didn't just drop a Dragon. I'm really, I'm really confused why he did it. He had the upper hand. His light screen out. Snarl is going to come in here. Hopefully, that, that Dragapult is rocking special attacking moves. I might just part a shot into it. This thing does have a light screen out and about. Oh, that thing's clear body. God dang it. Hate this game. Hate this game. Yeah. Alright. What's the plan here? But that's not my wall. Uh. Da -da 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 Let me just keep it sitting around right here. Maybe just throw a little Flare Blitz this way. Actually, I'd rather go into a Flare Blitz over onto this slot. 
Physical attacking, do a bit more damage. And is Sacred Fire special? No, they're both physical. So it's Light Screen in the trash. Get out of my face. Go for a Brave Bird. Let's Brave Bird. Let's do it. Let's get after it. Let's see what this dude has. Helping Hand coming in hot. E! Go after Ho-Oh, because I know ho is really, really bulky. Dragon Claw. Go after Ho-Oh. Thank you. Tasty snack you got there. Tasty snack you'll be eating up all day. Brave Bird coming in hot. Doing some damage. I could swap for Regenerator, which is great. Oh, and Ho-Oh just slapping up. He just slapping up. We're going to pick up a big double KO here. A big old double KO, yo. That's why I love Ho-Oh. He can hit hard. He's very bulky all around. And we tell this Whimsicott to get out of my face. What you mean? What you mean? Thing's eating up a flare blitz. It's a cotton ball. How do you how do you eat up a tiger flaring up and just tackling you? It makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. And he finally gets back out this Pokemon. But that's not my wallet. That's my problem. It's just not my wallet. And in this case, I'm gonna go for a Snarl, and I'm gonna say Snarl takes out that Whimsy Wind. I could recover. I could go for a protect. What is the play? I'm gonna go for a recover. Or I could regenerate. Regenerate could be big in the back end. And I could go into Zip Zap. Zip Zap's really good here. But I think I'd rather have my Neha Lego over Zip Zap this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I want my HP back. I want my HP back for my home. I can't believe we didn't get the double KO. Out my face, dog. Get out my face. Go ahead. Protect that Reggie Draco. Please. Helping hand. Oh, here we go. This is what I thought he was going to do. Leave me alone. I think we're both dead. Zapdos! I love you, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're not hitting here. We do have a berry, but you're not hitting here. <laughs> Jeez, man. What do I do? What do I do? I have no first turn priority. I I I just don't know what to do. What do I do? What do I do? Maybe get out the Lego. Probably our player. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hate this game, man. <laughs> we have the detectors at this, and we're going for the meteor beam. Detect this thing. So tough. Not looking good. Not not looking good. Unless Nihilego can eat this. Which I think Nihilego might be able to. If Zapdos was able to eat it, come on, man. Nihilego should just be like, yo, know, that's the tasty snack you guys have on the market. Eat it up, drop a meter beam, finish that thing off. There's no reason he's not going into the same thing, right? Oh yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Helping hand flies. Let's detect this. And Nihilego is going to eat this up. Like it's the tastiest snack he has ever eaten in its life. Come on. Come on, baby. Easy eats. Easy eats all day. All day, baby. Yes! Yes! Let's go. Let's go. We came to play today. We came to play. Tailwind is going to end, too. We came to play. This should finish this thing off. This should say, hey, Reggie Draco, get out of my game. It's not even close. Why is this thing so bulky? Light tree. God dang, light tree. Okay. That is not my wallet, though. It really isn't. He's going to tailwind again. And I'm going to have to just thunders kick up on this thing. Go ahead. Tailwind again. Do, do, do your thing. Do your thing, dude. God dang, Wimscott surviving a flare blitz. Out my face, dude. Out my face. So there's protect and tailwind, right? Gonna light screen. He set up the screens again. What's he going for here? Go after my Nihilego. Just for another dragon energy. And we might be able to eat that with my Zip Zap. My Zip Zap might be able to eat that. He's had half health. He has no helping hand to him as well. Zip Zap, eat that. Loving it. Loving it. Thunder's kick coming in hot. Get that thing out my face. Alright. We're sitting here. Not a bad, not bad so far. I don't know who his last Pokemon is. It's probably Shadow Rider, and that's very scary. That is very scary, yo. I can lie, yo. All these battles have been really, really good. Really, really good. There's Shadow. That's tough. He has Light Screen up. No, not allowed to eat berries, and our Pokemon are sitting really, really late here. We just had to get after you. No Quick Guard, but that's not going to do anything. We are going to double down into Shadow Rider here. 
He's got a tailwind, right? He's got a tailwind into the uh, Astro Barrage. It's G's. It is G's. Unless I'm, try I'm trying to think of, like, how we could potentially win this game. It's just not looking good unless he starts missing. Unless he starts missing. He has to miss one of these if we're going to win this one. But that's not my wallet. <laughs> that's not my wallet. Super tough. Going up against heavy, heavy meta teams. But, hey, we had ourselves a great video. We really did. We really did have ourselves a great video. Yeah, we were surviving on red a lot today. A lot today. This guy's plus two. I don't like this one bit. We got ho oh, oh no. This thing coming in hot. We need him to, like, miss moves. That's the only way of winning. Is if this Brave Bird can pick up some KOs here. We need Brave Bird to pick up some KOs, but... It's not happening. It's just not happening, right? He did get off a strong, strong, strong protect early on with that Reggie Drago, and I knew the Reggie Drago was just going to be a huge set all around. He goes with the helping hand. Ouch. Your bulkiness. Maybe help us out. Probably not. The six plus two. Miss! Nope. This thing says bye bye to my ho. -oh. What a sad day. What a sad day. Sad, sad day, but great, fun video I did for you guys today. Grab yourself a huge win in battle number one, and then the last two battles were very close, but we ended up losing in the end. Ho oh, oh, definitely not the best out of the restricted mods, but definitely very, very fun to use, and still decent all around. Very underrated, just underwhelming compared to the other restricted mods, such as Shadow Rider Calyrex, Zacian, Kyogre, Groudon. They're just absolute beasts, and they are all around amazing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. And don't forget, guys, if you want to send me rental teams for Series 11 or just for Series 10, considering we still have a couple more days left, Leave me in my Instagram DMs. My link is down in the description below. And name is right below my base cam. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.